What's up, motherfuckers? What's going on? So right off the bat, uh, I made a player uh, 2D type of scene. And right here in the project, when you start off, you'll go through a 2D and a 3D level selector. The 3D level selector is the same as the tutorial from last time. You hold down space and you go up higher. You just press, barely press space, you go down lower. But if we go over to the 2D scene, we're gonna see that we're, we have this player controller here. He's not really animated. I just drew him in like really quick. And then uh, if you hold down space, he's like he looks like he's charging up a jump. And when you let go of space, he releases it. So let's go over the code right now in the 2D character. So 2D character, we have this enum right here that handles like uh, the states of the animation. So I have idle, jump holding, release, and max animation. So it's like the final frame. This is when we release the jump animation. These are just basically a little state machine that I made in like two seconds. So we're here, here we have that idle animation when you're doing nothing. That's just when we're here and we're not doing anything. We have the jump holding animation. And then um, what the jump holding animation is, that's when we're like holding space and we got this motherfucker going down like that. And then the jump release animation is when we let go. And then here we have our speed and jump velocity. Right off the bat, I'm gonna do the same thing as a 3D tutorial and change that to 600. And then uh, that's our kind of max jump velocity, actually. That's what this is gonna end up being. This is gonna be, end up being our max jump velocity. So right uh, here, you would usually have is frame just pressed. And this is actually what we don't want for this tutorial. Cause look, it actually messes it up. If you hold it down, it won't work. But you could just press it and then it kind of like does a max jump. Okay, so we want our max jump to be a little bit higher because we're gonna charge it up and we want the player to like feel like they, they got a lot of bang for their buck that they charge that up. So let's say boom. So we do not want this um, type of just press thing right here. Instead we want to change this to pressed. And uh, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna have a variable that builds up while we're holding that down. So this is so this is action press check in physics process function is where we'll add up our velocity and then after adding up all that charged up velocity that was stored in the variable we're gonna make, we're gonna release it in the input function within this little if statement right here. But we wanna make sure that we actually set it here. So uh, that's gonna be the little puzzle. First, I'll make a variable called current jump velocity of tap float. This will contain the amount of charged jump we have. We'll set this variable within the is action press check of the physics process function. To charge it up, we'll continually add it by jump force increment until it reaches the top velocity that we want for a charged jump. And then that means we'll go up 200 per second. So that means we'll, if we hold it for five seconds, we'll get that huge jump. Maybe we want to make this a little, uh, a little uh, less time. Let's, let's say 250. Let's say 250 for now. Okay, so we're already actually applying this. So we apply that until we've uh, reached that. So we probably want to use like the move toward function. Let's say move toward from current jump velocity. And then we're going to go to jump force. Uh, we're going to go to max jump velocity. And then we're going to say delta times jump force increment. So that's what we're doing right here. And then once we hit that max jump velocity, we're gonna release it right here. And that's where I'm thinking we're gonna do this. So we're just constantly adding it up and then we're gonna set velocity.y to that. So let's see if this works. Let's just see if we can just do it right here. That y is equal to current jump velocity. So this might not work, this might work. Who knows? Let's see. Now that we know that we have a charge jump working, we need to reset the value per jump release. We will set the current jump velocity to zero when we release a jump. But make sure that this setting of zero for current jump velocity happens after releasing the charge jump to velocity.y. So set velocity.y to current jump and then set current jump to zero. Boom, okay. So we have something going. Once again, it's just way too slow. 
Let's double it. Let's double until we get like a good value. And then if it goes too fast, we could just... So if you barely press it, you barely get a jump going. But, boom. Okay. So you could print it and watch it go up right here. Say current jump velocity. Let's go right here. Okay, yeah, so now we got it to where we're like, uh, we're actually increasing it while we're holding it down. And then uh, after we're done, after we release the jump button, then we unleash all that pent up velocity and then we reset back to zero. And then uh, that's where you see this big ass motherfucking uh, jump right here. Boom. Okay, so another thing, let's say you want a minimum jump velocity and let's go to negative 250 so say we have this instead of setting it to zero we can just set the min jump velocity so that way we have a minimum jump on our on our hands let me see so if we just barely press it you gotta at least get that if you hold down you'll be like boom motherfucker boom okay so now we got all that going or we got our max jump velocity min jump velocity and jump force increment. And just remember that the max jump velocity is just our max speed. This is unleashed uh, probably when we have uh, this. So it will go from current jump velocity to max jump velocity. So it's going from that min velocity to the max velocity. And then we go by jump force increment times delta, just to make sure that someone has a blazingly fast computer, we don't accidentally activate it. And then bam, we got it. So we're just incrementing by that. And once we get right here, we apply it to our velocity.y, and then uh, we set current jump velocity to our minimum. And yeah. And the rest of the script is just uh, animation stuff and making sure that our collision box is fine. So that doesn't really have anything to do with this video. So boom! And then if you hold down, boom! Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. By the way, one thing I forgot to do in the video is uh, set this uh, min jump velocity right here instead of setting this to zero we also want to set this here so that way our first jump isn't super low let's check that let's go to 2d level that way it's more consistent and if you hold down still boom okay peace out so peace out motherfuckers i hope this helped have a wonderful motherfucking day hell yeah